Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. Today, I will show you how to use Zero Config to auto-provision your GrandStream devices, but be aware that it only supports GrandStream devices. No third-party devices are supported. To use Zero Config, you will either need to have extensions already created, or you can have Zero Config assign extensions automatically. For today, I will just show you how to use extensions that are already created. Go to Value Added Features and click Zero Config. If you have GrandStream devices on the same local network as the UCM, you should see those devices listed here. If you do not see a particular device listed, you may need to add the device's model under the Model Update tab. Find the MAC or IP address of the device you want to provision and click the Edit icon. Assign the extension to use under Account 1. To save the change and update the device, click the Update button and then click OK. To verify the device received the update and provisioned from the UCM, check the Create Config column for the current date and time. You may need to refresh the page for this column to populate. Once updated, verify the device is registered by clicking the Extensions page, as shown here. Another topic to cover today is creating global and model templates. As the name suggests, global covers all devices provisioned, while model applies to only a specific model of device. Creating a global template only requires you to give it a template name, while a model template, as shown here, requires a model selected and a template name. Otherwise, the process is the same to create either one. After the template is saved, you can now edit the template to include the settings you wish to change or add. In the example, I am changing the Auto Answer by Call Info setting from a No to a Yes. This setting is required to be set to Yes if you want intercom calls sent to the phones to be auto-answered instead of just ringing. Make sure to click the Save button. The last topic to cover today is to show you how to create a BLF key using Zero Config. While you could edit a template to accomplish this same task, I'm going to show you how to edit just one phone. Go back to the Zero Config tab and edit the device. You can use either VMPK or MPK buttons to show a BLF. Be careful if you use VMPK keys since they are shared with the same physical buttons as the account keys. Since this phone has one account key used, I would not program VMPK1 as a BLF key. Once you've finished adding keys, click the Update button and then refresh the page to verify the Create Config date and time has changed. To verify the new settings were applied to the phone, you can check the phone's GUI. The BLF key I program now shows here and the intercom setting called Auto Answer by Call Info that was previously set to No is now set to Yes. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.